Mr. Vidal Quadras, dear Amparo, you are very welcome to the home of the Iranian resistance, which is your home. For all of us, this is a moment of joy and pride, and we thank God for that. For our resistance, Dr. Alejo Vidal Cuadras is a man who has combined policy and dignity. He swam against the tide and is the symbol of a historical protest against the policy of appeasement of the religious fascism ruling Iran. A man that the Mullah's regime brutally targeted, but failed, and with a great miracle, and according to the people of Spain, the miracle of Cuadras, he survived, and today he's with us. Yes, he's a living martyr. Thank you, Mr. Vidal Cuadras. <laughs> the news of the plot against your life deeply moved the hearts of all freedom lovers in the world. Members of the NCRI and the Iranian resistance, the PMI members in Ashraf Tree, the resistance units and supporters of the PMI. You have watched the video of the prayer at the mosque of Ashraf Tree. But no camera could capture the deep feelings of the Iranian people inside Iran. Once again, on behalf of all PMI members, the NCRI and all members of the Iranian resistance, I welcome you, dear Mr. Vidal Quadras, and we are extremely happy that you are here with us today. I must also thank another person, my dear Amparo. I saw my dear Amparo playing a truly courageous role in this battle and how much she sacrificed. Amparo endured heavy pressures, but she remained a solid backing for the family with high spirits. With uh, my dear Gloria, uh, you were two strong women who supported uh, Mr. Vidal Cuadras in hardship. You, dear Amparo, even uh, comforted and gave moral to every one of us. You personally felt the risks, but you chose to fight. This is the uh, secret of all the heroes who do not see but decide uh, the fate of the struggle. Amparo is such a hero. I have seen her relentless support in all campaigns in favor of the Iranian resistance during all these years. 
Thank you, dear Amparo. I must also thank your dear daughters, Gloria, Fiona, and your son, Alejo, for uh, showing their strength and being at your side from the very first moment. Dear friends, from the day Mr. Vidal Quadras knew the Iranian resistance, uh, he was restless during the tough times when Ashraf was under siege, God sent us an angel who saved many lives. This is why the mullahs uh, placed him and his colleagues, Mr. Stevenson and Mr. Kazaka, on their blacklist. They wanted to eliminate those who testify to the truth of our time. But there was a greater will at work who protected Mr. Vidal Quadras for the Iranian people's resistance. When the PMI had been uh, unjustly blacklisted, you were there to aid the Iranian resistance. Mr. Vidal Quadras took the risk of uh, going to Ashraf in Iraq at a very dangerous times. Then he described Ashraf as a moral standard for the world. You even reserved a room and a bed for yourself at Ashraf 1. When the PMI members were being transferred to the um, killing field of Camp Liberty, Mr. Vidal Quadras did everything uh, he could to save their lives. He had a decisive role in their relocation to Ashraf Tree. And you and dear Amparo visited uh, PMI members at Ashraf Tree at the first possible opportunity, and there uh, you declared yourself as a member of this movement. <laughs> During all these years, uh, you were at the forefront of defending the Iranian resistance against the regimes psychological war and demonization campaign and exposing the regime's lies. Thus, you yourself uh, became the victim of attacks by the mullahs and their lobbies. Uh, your press conference uh, last week in Madrid uh, surprised everyone uh, and was widely covered. It was a moment of joy for me and all of us. Your presence and your speech in that conference was the strongest blow to the Mullah's regime. Your courage was also admirable for all journalists. Uh, you pioneered the right policy against the Islamic fundamentalism, ruling Iran, at the European Parliament. You defended the rights of the Iranian people and as the vice president of this parliament, you did not give up uh, to the balance of power. I must also uh, thank your dear colleagues, Mr. Stevenson and Mr. Kazaka uh, for their tireless efforts during all those difficult years. You together led the campaign for the right policy of Iran in the European Parliament and continued it in the Committee in Search of Justice. Uh, the 
ISJ has now turned uh, into a major and reliable uh, authority for the Iranian people's freedom, particularly in uh, exposing regime's demonization campaign. Uh, the Mullahs wanted to intimidate us uh, with that attack in Madrid, but in that attack, we saw the end of the Mullahs regime. We have no doubt um, that the regime has no future. The future belongs to uh, freedom lovers and those who are ready to pay the price for freedom. Uh, members of the PMI in Ashraf Tree are waiting to see you once again. And your presence here has a strong message. Um, perseverance and continuing the struggle to the end. Hoping you and uh, dear Amparo health and success in every respect. Thank you very much. Last Friday, I held a press conference in Madrid. All the media came, Spanish and also some foreign media. And I seized the occasion because I immediately realized it was a good opportunity to uh, inform the Spanish people, and in general, the European people, about the meaning, about the fight, about the noble cause of the PMOI and the NCRI, and the need to change EU policy in relation to the Iranian regime. Uh, in the black list they published some time ago, I was first of the list, so uh, among other titles I have, I have one that I am particularly proud of. Public enemy number one of the mullahs. <laughs> message. I said, listen to me there in Tehran. Uh, with this attack, you had, as I said, two objectives. One, to get rid of me. The second was to scare, to frighten the hundreds, hundreds of politicians uh, in Europe, in America, in Arab countries, all over, all over the five continents that support the PMOI and the NCRI. <laughs> so they did not get any of the two objectives. I am alive and they have not scared anyone because the reaction of many uh, parliamentarians, uh, many European parliamentarians, after the attack, has been to redouble their commitment to the cause of freedom and democracy in Iran and their support to Mrs. Rajavi and also uh, supporting me because all my political life since I arrived to the European Parliament in 1999, that is to say for 20, 20 years. Um, 
more than 20 years. I have always considered myself, and I have told Muhammad and Hanif and Firuz and Farsi, Farsin and Ali, I always said, I am an honorary member of the PMO. Okay, okay. <laughs> and 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 they they were so kind that even that of course I have not been born in Iran and I do not speak Farsi and I am not a Shia Christian. I well they said okay, okay, you are honorary member. And I was happy. Oh, I am honorary member. But now things have changed. <laughs> Dear President, of course, not out of my will. But the truth is that my blood has been spilled and has joined the blood of thousands of martyrs. Of, of, and, and since that has happened, I feel I have the right to ask something to our president. Mrs. President, after this attack. I don't want to be an honorary member anymore. <laughs> I want to be a full member <laughs> of the PMO. <laughs> With this pledge, with this demand to our president, I will finish my intervention because nothing could be for me a greater honor than being one full PMOI. Thank you. Really, there's few things I can say after Mrs. Rajabi's speech and Alejo's one. Uh, mainly, I would like to thank uh, all the signs of support we've received um, during these months. On behalf of the whole family, Alejo's uh, daughters, son, and myself, uh, that came from all of you here in France, in Brussels, in the USA, uh, from Asher 3, but mainly the one uh, that came from inside Iran. Really, Alejo was, was really uh, moved and comforted to see these people risking their lives inside Iran uh, to hold banners and pictures of him, uh, trying to convey him their support. Really, we appreciate it very much. As you know very well, uh, Alejo is a man of strong convictions and principles, and once he believes in a cause, he will fight it to the end. Against <laughs> no matter the risk, no matter the, the, the sacrifices, he will follow it to the end. But that's why I admire you so much, really. But all this said, the truth is that supporting your cause, supporting uh, the 
10 points plan of Mrs. Rajavi is not an option. It's not an option, but a duty to any person in this world who wants the prevailing of human rights, democracy, and uh, freedom in the whole world, not only in Iran. So we don't have a, we don't have a choice. That's why uh, I would like to, to thank you once again for all your hard struggle and sacrifices for so many years uh, for the sake of the whole humankind, I would say, mankind. And uh, just tell you that you have the right on your side and only evil can oppose you and try to defeat you. That's all. Thank you.